I have a story for you. It's about the kid that got to attend his dream school. The one that snuck into college parties on the hill before he could even drive. His freshman dorm was less than a block from his high school. That same guy was brutally assaulted his first semester and everyone told him to transfer. The kid who actually managed to make a bunch of friends along the way. That kid is me. I graduate from the University of Colorado in three weeks. On Christmas Day in 2007, I received the best present of my life. I rose from the ravines of Chicago and descended into Boulder Valley for the first time. That day, my gift was becoming a Boulder native and a Buffaloes fan. I have been one ever since. I have had to hide it for the interest of journalistic integrity in the name of this very show for a while, but I don't have to anymore. I can finally say it again. Sco Buffs. I've been here five years. I've seen some things. Trust me, I have seen some things. But I want to share some things with you that have touched me, which I have never shared before. First, let's start out with my first kiss at CU, December 2013. I'm outside in the cold for hours, waiting to get a glimpse at my Buffaloes as they try to upset my father's Jayhawks. The Buffs started out down, came back, and got ahead, then blew it. Somehow, a Skia Booker got a shot off from half court and heaved it in to give us the win. Before I could storm the court from my sixth row seat, I kissed my friends Marco Mamelin and Trevor McKinney on the lips. Five years here, no girl inspired that same passion in me as Tadball did that day. How about my favorite night at CU? Look, I saw my first game in Folsom in 2008. The Buffs snuck past Pat White and the Mountaineers. It was awesome. There wasn't really much good that happened between then and 2016. Ah, to be a fresh 21-year-old during the rise. I can't even account for how much of my paycheck ended up in beer. The shocked everyone Buffaloes ended up taking me to Network TV, Santa Clara, and San Antonio. It was awesome. It was also hilarious. I was a beat writer covering the team for a real deal media outlet, and all I did the night before the Alamo Bowl was sing the fight song so loud I lost my voice on the river walk. Bless you Buffs fans for all the drinks that night, especially you Ziskin and shouts to the administrators who spent the night with us at Mad Dogs. I have one more for you. And there's plenty from my days as the leader of the student section to being a beat writer that could get in here. Most of it shouldn't be televised or published, but this memory, this one is special, and the special memory we made together. Whoever is watching this has seen my face before, and you either love me or hate me. I have made you feel something one day, or we shared something one day, whether I was in front of a camera behind a mic, passing a fathead, leading the roller coaster, or having a beer with you. Me and you, we had a special moment that will live with us forever. That moment happened because of our loyalty to the Buffaloes. That moment, it's special to me too. Shoulder to shoulder, thank you, Boulder. You are the world's greatest college town, but I got something better from you. I got a home. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for this and so much more. I mean, y'all know I try to be unbiased, but tonight was, there are no words to describe being on the field of the 10th ranked team in the country, the team you grew up rooting for, and perhaps them going to the Pac-12 title. It's awesome. Tessa, I don't think I've ever sincerely tossed it back to you on the desk, so here goes nothing. One final time, with Buff Banner, this is Jake Shapiro. Back to you on the desk.